What's that one recurring dream that you have all the time? And what does it mean? Hey guys, this is Annie for D News. Do you have any recurring dreams that you seem to have constantly or dreams that you wake up from thinking, what the hell was that about? For example, I dream about my teeth a lot and turns out that's one of the most common ones. Some others are being naked in public, being unable to speak, being chased, being late to the first day of school. And a lot of these are associated with anxiety. That dream you have about failing a test, for example, is often interpreted as feeling unprepared for something or exposed in some way. But why are certain recurring dreams so common and what's the right way to interpret them? That's a question that's been studied for a long time. In Greece, for example, dreams were often thought of as omens that could predict events. And in Egypt, they were also considered links to the supernatural world. But many modern theories originate with Sigmund Freud, who saw them as wish fulfillment, that have a system of symbols that represent the same things for almost everyone. Apples, snakes, guns, elevators, basically they all mean sex. But more recently, a theory called activation synthesis claims that dreams don't really mean anything. They're just electrical impulses that pull random stuff from our memories. Dreams are tough to study, partly because we often just don't remember them. But one team from Japan recently tried to record dream visuals by waking people up during sleep phases and asking them to describe those dreams. Of the 200 reports they collected, they found that most of them were actually kind of boring, just ordinary everyday stuff with the occasional foray into the bizarre. Then they categorized those visuals, man, woman, car, computer, street. And what's interesting is that when they showed those dreamers images of those things later, the brain activity was extremely similar to what it was during the dream state, meaning we kind of watch our dreams the same way we do real life events. And based on those brain scans, the scientists were able to predict what people were visualizing during their dreams with 75 to 80% accuracy. Crazy, right? We spend about two hours of every night dreaming. And although they're still not that well understood, we do know that dreams are important for memory. Most dreams happen during REM sleep, which is associated with production of proteins and the retention of mental skills, among other things. So as for all those recurring dreams, well, you might as well embrace them because they're normal and probably good for you. And for more on the mysterious science of sleep, check out my report on the ASMR phenomenon that people out there are using to treat their insomnia. Do you have recurring dreams or nightmares? What do you think they mean for you? Let us know on Twitter at DNews or on Facebook at Discovery News. You can also reach me at Annie Gauss on Twitter or head over to my other channel, WTBD. Sweet dreams and thanks for watching.